Hi, I'm Duncan Murdoch. I'm a Leverhulme Early Career Fellow at the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. But today I'm here at the Swiss Light Source in a little village near Zurich. So uh, this is a particle accelerator, so it's a big donut-shaped building with electrons zooming around it and it generates x-rays and we can use those x-rays to have a look inside uh, small objects and the small objects I'm interested in uh, today are the teeth of a lamprey. So lampreys are jawless fish, they look a bit like an eel and they have these little uh, keratin teeth that are the same material as your fingernails or your hair and I'm interested in them in be because um, I'm interested in them because they may be related to an extinct group of animals called conodonts that were also uh, jawless fish with little tiny teeth or teeth-like structures but these are mineralized, they're made of the same mineral as, as our teeth and bones. But we don't know exactly where they fit in the vertebrate tree of life um, or what they were doing with them, how they lived, so I'm trying to learn more about how they grew so I'm using these lamprey teeth as a, a comparison. So here we're able to expose these uh, teeth or, or tiny fossils to x-rays. Um, then as the x-rays pass through the material, some of them get slowed down or attenuated. And that change in uh, speed get, uh, gets picked up by a detector at the back of the machine. And that, then that gets converted into this projection on this screen. And then we're able to convert those into a series of slices, just like a medical CT scanner. And from that, we can reconstruct what's going on inside the, the whole uh, tooth or fossil or whatever it is that you're interested in. So I'm just going to mount the specimen in the beam. So this is where the x-rays come down and they get collected here on a scintillator that turns the x-rays into visible light. Then they get collected by a, um, a regular camera. So I've I've got my uh, little lamprey tooth here in a little tube. So I'm just going to mount it in this sample holder and then place it on the stage. Mm. 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 So now it's ready to go to turn on the x rays. And that's what this dosimeter is for. This is in, uh, just to monitor how much. Uh, radiation is getting picked up on, on me so I don't glow in the dark. So this is the result of the scan. So you, This is a single slice through the lamprey tooth. So this is the plastic tube that we use to mount the specimen. And here is the tooth itself. And um, uh, with this uh, 3D visualization software we can then render the entire tooth as a solid object. So I'll just turn it on. So you can see, again, this is the plastic tube that's surrounding it. So with a, a bit more time and effort, we could manually remove um, all of that and get a, a nice model out in the end. Um, but you can see inside, here's the tooth. I get it looking nice. With these little um, processes that it, you, the, the lamprey uses for grabbing onto um, its prey that it rasps on the side of, and then it uses these to rasp away at the flesh. So now we've got a 3D model, so we can use this to uh, look at the, how these animals were using their teeth, how that they were grew, and ultimately I'm going to compare these to some fossils.